What's good YouTube? It's your boy Loki OJ back with another video. So if you haven't seen my other videos like the best emerald lineup that you can make the best all budget diamond you can make or the best ruby team you can make you, can, you should check those out. But for today I thought I would do the best amethyst team all amethyst team that you can make. Now for the disclaimer for this for for the shooting guard position I would get Gerald Green to match him up with LeBron James, but it's just he's too expensive for me right now because I'm trying to complete that Magic Johnson's Magic, uh, not Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan uh, playoff performers, you know, collection so I can get MJ. And I think on the last day, I'm probably going to need all the MT that I can get as possible to open as many packs. I'm, right now, I'm just four players away or five players away. So hopefully, with today's pack opening, we could be one more player closer to getting that MJ. But let's just go into depth on this team right here. So for the starting point guard, I have John Wall. Now, I feel like John Wall, for the Amethyst line, he's hands down the best point guard you can get. He's even better than most of the diamonds out there. Like if, you, if you're gonna get one of those budget diamonds, don't. Just get John Wall, he's about a good, 15 20k cheaper than most of the point guards out there but he plays like a diamond like honestly if you he plays almost like his diamond like i have his diamond but this john wall plays almost like him it's just he's not as good at shooting the three but everything else he does exactly the same now for shooting guard this is basically your budget gr smith because he has all this almost all the same hall of fame badges you can play that perimeter defense almost as good as jr the shootings right there the release isn't as nice but of course it works no it's really good and then at the small four position i got the dynamic duo of joe english and rudy gobert bringing them both to 93 overall so basically you have two diamonds on this team and the great thing about these guys is they're both defensive players and joe english has that nice offense to go with him and a power forward really if you can get used to Tom Hines, whatever, however you pronounce his uh, last name's release, I would start him over Bob Pettit, simply because if somebody's playing like a good post player at the power forward position, we shouldn't really worry because nobody on my team online ever uses post up, but Bob Pettit cannot hold his own, but he will be able to stretch the floor. His release is one of the nicest in the games. It'll leave room for like this team that you have right now. It'll be really good. Now, if we go to the bench, starting at point guard, we have CJ McCollum, who is a shooting guard, but he's 6'4", but he has the handles to play point guard. Really, if if Damian, if uh, Portland didn't have Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum would be a point guard because in college, he was a point guard, and he was a pretty good point guard, too. Uh, you have CJ McCollum for your offensive threat, and same with uh, Stephen Jackson, and then defensively, you have Avery Bradley and Al Orford, and Tom Heinoff can actually play some pretty good defense all around, but he's if you get used to his release, he becomes a really good offensive threat. And then the three players, you can switch around, depending whether you need the offense or athleticism. You got LeBron and Andre Godala, who can play point guard to small forward, and LeBron, who can play point guard all the way to power forward. And of course, you got Dennis Schroeder on the bench over here, just to fill out this set. So, this right here should probably cost you like at most 120k but if you're really good at sniping you can get this whole set for under 60k like for real but you gotta you gotta be up for the right time it's the hardest guys that you're gonna find to get for that price will probably be this under Iguodala over here and this Gerald Green but once once you do that like there's a lot of people putting up John Wall for like 7k even though he goes for like 25 and you could easily get him for like 10k um bob pettit you can get him for 10k easily joe english can get him for under 10k too same with rudy gobert and cj and avery and stephen jackson so if you want a really good amethyst team i would suggest trying and running this lineup so without further ado let's get into this pack opening hopefully since this is the 13th pack opening day eight hopefully we can get something come on you get it's been it's been 13 packs 13 packs and i've only been able to get two diamonds a bunch of rubies 
and two amethysts. So starting off the pack, not good, not good. It's not good. Still no diamond toppers. I think I think that's what that's what's really been making me unhappy. But it's okay. We'll be opening these every single day, and I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing. Since now I'm over a hundred subs. Uh, soon enough, as I get traction on the channel, I'll be doing weekly giveaways of like 10,000 MT. And as uh, the channel gets bigger, go to 20k, and 30k, and then 40k, and then hopefully before the game ends, like if I if I'm able to get that Kobe and Michael Jordan, I'll be doing like 100k giveaways. So just cross just cross our fingers and hope that we can get some diamond in this pack to just help in that race to get MJ. Now, if if you haven't seen my video on why the Cavs have swept, will get swept by the Golden State Warriors, I would suggest you go and check that one out too. Because if you watch game one yesterday, you could you could you could kind of see where I was getting my ideas from and, and my analysis on it, I would say it was pretty on point because everything I said in that video seemed like it was coming true in that game. And honestly, I don't I don't see the, I don't see how the Cavs are gonna bounce back because this, this team is just way too talented. And even with Clay not playing well, they still got blown out by like 23 points. Man, it's just giving me all bronzes, eh? Come on, TK, this is like the 13th pack. Not even not even not even an amethyst anymore, eh? TK is just trying to hmm. Hopefully, the topper at least won't be a ruby because if it's not a ruby, then I would say I would say at least it's worth it. Oh, would you look at that? An emerald Dwayne Wade. At the beginning of the year, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, that combo was actually not that bad. You know, because Chris Bosh goes all the way up to an 87, Dwayne Wade goes to an 83. But at this time of the year, I'll be completely trash. Another emerald. Huh? Another ruby topper. Oh, it's, it's gonna be hard to keep doing this. Like, come on. Come on, 2K. Just all rubies, huh? Not even an amethyst. Like, Last pack. See, it's probably not gonna give us anything, but you never know, right? And of course, all silvers. All right. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you wanna see more of these, make sure to subscribe.